Hello, 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 YouTube. Tonight we're doing uh, an SRT video tutorial using two Eurotech boxes, one an encoder, the other a decoder. And uh, we have a Bermuda TV station on the left. That's where we're going to station our encoder. And we're sending this signal across a geographical location of a few, several kilometers uh, to a cable affiliate. And they're going to be using a decoder. And both these boxes are from Euratech. And for demonstration purposes, pretend the decoder is using a public IP of 2.195. <clears throat> now, if you were doing a, if you were using a, a uh, NATed network, where your decoder is behind a router, then you would need to do port forwarding and you would need to port forward uh, port 51,000 in this case and that is UDP and that's all you need to forward to the private IP of this decoder box but uh, before we get started SRT has three modes generally so there's caller, listener and rendezvous in this little demo we're doing we're doing the caller slash listener uh, model so the Bermuda TV station on the left is going to be the caller. Cable affiliate on the right is going to be the listener, and it's going to be listening on port 51,000. Now you can put this port number to anything of your choice. I'm just using 51,000 in this demo. So let's, uh, let's click on the encoder box and take a look at the settings. Okay, so... Here's your encoder, and we're going to click on the menu item on the left that says encoder. And we're going to be focusing our configurations on the mainstream section. So starting with the encoding type, I'm using H.264. My frames per second is 30 frames. Uh, GOP, which is short for group of pictures. You always want this to be twice your frame per, frames per second. So in this case, it's 60. My bitrate is going to be 10 megs, and I'm going to be using a constant bitrate. Uh, this scrolling down now at the bottom, you want to focus on SRT push. So this is where you're going to be typing in the decoder's IP address, and preferably the public IP address. So. In the previous diagram, the IP address was 192.168.2.195. And the port number that the decoder was listening on was 51,000. So we're going to separate that by a colon. So colon 51,000. Don't worry about this port up here where it says SRT URL port. This is if you're making this in quarter box a listener you would put in a desired port number in here and enable it from here but ignore that for now all we're interested in is making this box a caller and this is all we need to configure here at the bottom so go ahead hit apply and okay don't worry about the SRT encryption yet we can apply that later on once we get the signal going and we have connectivity across the uh, geographical region. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, hop over to the decoder box now. I already have it open up here and I'm logged in. And uh, let's pull up a little output of the decoder so that we can see what's happening when we make some changes here. All right, so uh, let's click on address setting on the left here. And we want to make this decoder box the listener. As it is right now, ignore all these settings here. These are from a previous setup. And uh, you see it says here four. Uh, this is because the box can do four outputs pulling four different streams. In this case, we're going to be doing one output using a single stream. And now, 
This is where it gets interesting. In this little box here is where we're going to type the following to make it listen on port 51000. So you want to type SRT colon at 51000. Now I'm going to hit apply and that should start listening. The caller is going to try calling. And I should see something in the bottom right at some point. There it is. So now it's pulling an SRT from the Bermuda TV station encoder. And that's how you set it up. It's, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it. As long as you have the concept going mentally, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. So let's go back to the, the original diagram and so basically uh, that image in the bottom right is coming from this decoder on the right here and we're using the caller listener model so in SRT what happens is the whoever you designate as a caller he's gonna call and this is gonna respond and they're gonna set up a parallel channel here I know you only see one arrow and that's the signal but what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a, a second session being established here or a parallel a parallel session with an arrow going this way and basically what that's doing is controlling the flow the signal flow so if you have any any sort of error happening and you need some correction that's the purpose of that second uh, session it's for flow control and uh, that's uh, that's how you set it up folks if you have any technical questions feel free to ask me in the comments I'll be happy to answer and uh, thanks for watching